introduction to Helium 10 Keyword Tracker. Why is tracking keywords even important? This is an important thing that we have to start with. There's a lot of things that you can be tracking in your Amazon account that all have very high importance, right? You know, tracking your profits and tracking your inventory, things like that. But something that some Amazon sellers neglect to do is track where they're showing up in the search results. Now, this is important because, you know, half of orders, give or take, they come directly from Amazon search. Now, this number could go up or down based on new things that are happening with AI. But basically, where you show up in the search results is pretty much going to be an indication of the sales you're going to get, at least more than half your sales. And we're not just talking about organic rank. Organic rank means where are you showing up in the search results organically without a paid position. Sponsored rank is where you're showing up in your paid product ads. Where is what place are you on page one? Are you on page two? Are you on page three? Uh, where on page one, etc. Now, the, this is important because you don't end up on page one on day one. All right. Sometimes you do. You like you know, we talk about certain launch strategies, or maybe you pick some super obscure keyword and you're the only one with it. Okay, maybe you might be on page one the day you launch your product. But normally it takes a while to get to page one. Maybe you can be on page one on day one for sponsored, but your organic position takes time to get there. And how do you get to page one? You might be sending outside traffic, right? Uh, or you might be spending a lot of money in Amazon advertising to try and boost your organic rank. Whatever you're doing, you are making an effort to get your organic rank up. And what should you want to know? Hey, is my effort paying off? I'm paying all this money in advertising. Is my organic rank getting high? Once you get to the top of the page, it's not just, oh, let me wash my hands. I'm good. I'm done. I'm just going to rake in the money. Laptop lifestyle. No, you could fall off because somebody else might take your position. Maybe you take the foot off the gas and what used to a bid on PPC that used to get you to the top of search. Maybe it doesn't anymore. You need to know when you drop down so that you can take action. The list goes on and on for reasons that tracking keywords is important. With the advent of more AI, some people say, oh, it's not going to be important. I think it's going to be more important than ever. You know, AI is going to be doing things for uh, Amazon sellers where um, maybe your product wasn't showing up at the very top on a certain long tail search, like, you know, best nuts for people who live in California or some weird thing like that. But guess what? That might not be a keyword that gets a lot of searches. It might be something that somebody searches in Rufus or the AI. But then do you think you are ever going to show up at the very top of Rufus recommendations if you don't even show up for the keyword best nuts, you know, let alone the the, the secondary part of, you know, for people who live in California or something like that. No, like, like if you're not even searchable for the keywords best nuts, you're not going to come up in any kind of AI or otherwise searches. All right. So keyword tracking is super important. Let's do an overview here of Keyword Tracker. And in the subsequent strategies we're going to be showing uh, in subsequent videos, uh, we're going to show you step by step how to do all the different functions because this is the most advanced, most intricate Keyword Tracker ever made for Amazon sellers. Let's hop into it. Once you're on the Keyword Tracker page, right here on the left hand side, you're going to see all the products that you're tracking. It doesn't have to be just your products. You can also track your competitor products here, or even if you don't have any products, you can still add a product. Now over here on the top right, you might have different numbers here because of the plan that you have. This one tells you how many keywords out of your total allotment you've used, how many boosts. We're going to talk about boosts later. This is a super unique feature just to Helium 10 and something very valuable. This tells you the time zone uh, that we are showing the keyword ranks. Now in the product view, which is this view, uh, I, I can search for products right here. Like if I, if I want to find where are my coffin shelves, I can type coffin shelf and press enter. And then the products that uh, come that have coffin shelf in the title are going to show up here. If I want to clear that search. I can go ahead and clear it and press enter. Now here I have customized. All right. So in the product view, you might want to choose uh, different columns. All right. So basically what this are is the number of track keywords, uh, the number of competitors, how many uh, organic keywords are in the top 10 of the search results, how many organic keywords in the top 50. Again, you, you don't have to see these, but I have all of these on. If there's something here you don't want to see, you just un uncheck it. Number of sponsored keywords in the top 10, number of sponsored keywords in the top 50 of the search results, Amazon's choice keywords, Amazon brand analytics top clicked keywords. This is really cool. New keyword suggestions, category and subcategory BSR, 
and I can have notes, uh, tags, and also the date I added. If I hover over something, it's gonna show me async details. I can turn that off if, if I think that's annoying, all right? So that's all the columns. As you guys can see, I've got them all showing uh, right here. Now, this is when I added it to Keyword Tracker. So I might be able uh, to sort this. Maybe I wanna sort it to see, like I wanna see what are the oldest products I have. I can sort it here. Uh, also, once you have a whole bunch of products, maybe you always want certain products to show up at the very top of your keywords. You can actually click here into the number and change the order. Like, let's say I want this coffin egg tray to be the very first product. I would hit this six and change it to one and it'll show up at the top. This ABA top click keywords, this is telling me uh, the last week, how many keywords did this product show up as one of the top three clicked Amazon products. Super unique, we're the only ones that show this, all right? So I can actually see the history, like week by week or month by month, how many keywords was this product one of the top three clicked in all of Amazon for that keyword? Uh, you can see here, there's graphs here. So like, this is telling me that I've got one keyword that's in the top 50, but if I hit this graph, I can see over time how many keywords I had in the top 50 uh, day by day. The same for top 10 for sponsored, top 50, and top 10 for organic as well. Number of competitors, I'm going to show you guys how to do this later. And then this is the total number of click keywords. This here is the BSR, the bestseller, Amazon bestseller rank for the product that I am tracking. Now, um, I'm going to show you guys how to add keywords later. This little arrow is gonna open up this bottom tab and I'm gonna go into each and every one of these in subsequent strategies. But here's my keywords tab where all of the keywords that I'm tracking uh, are going to be at. And again, I can add notes and tags. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that later. Uh, here's the search volume of the keyword, how many products uh, show up in the search results for the keyword. Uh, here's the organic and sponsored rank. We'll get into details on that later. Here's a cool metric, uh, very unique to Helium 10. How many keyword sales estimated? Not just the search volume, but how many sales did this search volume actually end up with? You can see this one that had uh, 1,500 searches ended up with about 12 sales. CPR, this is the Cerebro product rank number that's exclusive to Helium 10. This is about how many units you would have to sell over eight days after a search of the keyword to have the best chance to get to the top of page one. Now, this is actually very unique because it's based on this exact product and its its age and, and what kind of title it has, et cetera, all right? The CPR number you see in Cerebro is generic. This one is based on the exact product. Uh, we've got the suggested PPC bid based on Helium 10 data of what this, this keyword you should bid on. What ABA total click share is telling you is for each and every one of these keywords, uh, the top three click products, what percentage of all the clicks does it, did, does it take? And then what percentage of the actual sales did the top three click products take? All right, so this means that, hey, out of the top three click products, it made up 22% of all clicks and those top three products made up almost half of all the sales that happened. Now, here's something interesting. This is telling you what departments that this keyword is going to show up in the search results. Let me just show you a quick example. Uh, let's go look at coffin decor on Amazon. Now here, there's a lot of different departments and categories that the results show up in. That's what we're showing over here on the right-hand side. The, the last time Helium 10 checked, the different departments that it's showing up. If I want to delete one of these keywords, I just hit this trash button. Just like with the products, if I wanna change the order of how the products show up, I'll just hit this number and then change. I can say, hey, you know what? I want this to be number one. Let me save that. And now the next time I load it, this is gonna be number one right here. Uh, this is the boost feature. I'm gonna do a special strategy just on that. It's really super important. Now, if I happen to have this window open for any period of time here in Keyword Tracker, this refresh button is gonna help refresh the uh, ranks if I've uh, had this open for more than an hour or so. If I want to bulk add or delete keywords that are here, I just hit this edit keywords button. In later videos, I'm gonna tell you guys how to work this competitors tab. Super cool because I can see ranks of my competitors. Uh, suggested keywords. This is a section that is actually going to harvest keywords for you and let you know keywords you should be tracking that maybe you didn't realize. Heat map is a, a different way to see ranks. I'm gonna show you guys uh, how to 
navigate this section in a later video. And then if you guys have Helium 10 Atomic, you can click on the ads button. We've got all your ads that, and there's some super, super cool things that you can see and compare to your PPC data. <music>